and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. I submitted my last paper last night about 1.30, and it feels good to officially conclude this semester. Because it's a grind, but let's move forward to the gospel, because it is Tuesday, December 14th, the third Tuesday of Advent, and it is the feast day of St. John of the Cross, who was a Spanish Catholic priest, mystic, and a Carmelite friar. Uh, he was a major figure of the Counter-Reformation in Spain during the 1500s, and he is one of the 36 doctors of the church. He's commonly known as the mystical doctor, uh, as his writings were focused primarily on the soul and the spiritual life, uh, in which he is the patron saint of the contemplative life. So that is St. John of the Cross. A lot of, from what I hear, he has a lot of phenomenal writings. I have not been able to read any of them yet. But today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 21, verses 28 through 32. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not. But afterwards, he changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, The first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him. But tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. So we've got the parable of the two sons, in which really neither one of them did the God, did the Father's will. Um, otherwise, he never would have mentioned that tax collectors and prostitutes are doing better than them. Because um, he's asking us for a conversion, to have a change of heart. So let's see what the Word Among Us reflection says today. You did not later change your minds and believe him. If you had to summarize Jesus' parable in one line, it might be this. Repentance requires a change of mind and heart. That's what happened to the first son. He said no when his father asked him to work in the vineyard, but then he reconsidered and went. Like the son in this story, the tax collectors and prostitutes had heard John's words about righteousness and they turned away from sin and placed their faith in God. Why was it so difficult then for the elders and scribes to shift their thinking so that they could believe John's message and Jesus' is after him? The truth is we all struggle with adopting new perspectives. It's so much easier and more comfortable to stand on the firm ground of our current beliefs than it is to risk the churning seas of uncertainty and change. But unless we are open and teachable, God won't be able to move us to think more in line with him. Being open to a new perspective also requires humility. A change of mind forces us to confront our weaknesses and false assumptions. As painful as that can be, it shouldn't surprise us. Our human judgment can easily be clouded by the fleeting values of the world, the false accusations of the devil, and our past experiences of sin. All kinds of influences can derail our thinking until we miss the mark altogether. So how can we better listen to God and allow him to transform our thinking? First, we can humbly ask the Lord in prayer to show us where we need to change our perspective. That can lead to repentance or simply to a different way of viewing another person, a relationship, or a situation. Second, we can keep in mind this promise from the Lord. My thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways. The more we understand this truth, the more we will be open to discovering God's ways of thinking and seeing. That discovery may just convince us that we need a change of heart and mind, and that God will help us make that change. Jesus, help me let go of any ways of thinking that are, that are not in line with your ways. Almost seems like a call to humility, which is what we all probably, actually not probably, we all need to grow in. So that can be the challenge for today. Have a great day. God bless and keep it real. St. John of the Cross, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit, amen.